Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. I'm Evil Mike, and I have another review for you. Um, from Image Comics, this is Second Chances, issue number four, written by Ricky uh, Mamone. Uh, artist is Max uh, Bertoletti, and then we got letters by DC Hopkins. Um, it is a black and white comic, uh, that's why there's uh, no hint at color. Um, at the very end of this review, I will show you some of the art if you're curious. Um, in a nutshell, this is kind of like a Noyer uh, detective style story. It's about uh, LeBlanc and he runs a second chances business. If you've done anything, um, you know, that you need to leave behind and start a new life, whether it's you're on the run, someone's after you, you've done some bad things, whatever the issue, um, you go to LeBlanc and he gives you a second chance. He sets you up with a whole new life. In the very beginning of the story, in the first issue, he takes a... Uh, a job uh, to give this guy Paul a second chance and it ends up going sideways where that guy ends up getting killed right off the bat and it's the the rest of the story is kind of like the spiral of events that happen from there um, eventually it's about this girl named um, Emma that, that eventually gets into the case and we find out that uh, she's the uh, the daughter of some nefarious people or something like that and it and, um, seems like a like Emma was the one that, that kills Paul and attacks him and then and then it's it, a lot of it is the, you know these bad um, kind of like ninjas whatever forces are chasing Emma and trying to kill LeBlanc because he's trying to stop this at, at the very end of the story we do find out that it was all like his ex-girlfriend Ada and Ada had a uh, had um, used this type of drug that that wipes your memories and stuff and then she had implanted like you know, false memories into this girl Emma turning into her like an instant instant assassin kind of thing, and she set her out um, to kill that guy Paul. Um, eventually, because you know LeBlanc had taken the job, he gets pulled into it. Eventually, for, from Emma's side, it was supposed to be this easy thing that she was supposed to kill this target because she's an assassin, and then she was supposed to move on. And in between the mix of things, LeBlanc got kind of sidestepped in there, taking the job with Paul, and then getting mixed up with Emma. Um, at the uh, at the very end here, we are just kind of tying up loose ends. You know, we show uh, Emma on the run after like uh, this massive, um, you know. <laughs> event that went down in the third issue in the sushi bar where like kind of all, all parties connected and tried to kill each other and everybody kind of like no one ended up dying but it was like well you can say some of the ninjas that were after him but um technically at this moment there's like one ninja left and then there's emma ada and then there's leblanc and, and leblanc and um you know ada they end up leaving together and, Kind of reconnecting because we, you know, we found out that she 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 kind of like revealed herself and and uh, we saw that it's like uh, LeBlanc's ex girlfriend and this and that and then Emma has connected with the samurai um, ninja type person. Um, the book goes forward and it's a lot of like Ada and uh, LeBlanc catching up and explaining like how she got involved in this, what her ploy is, and this and that. And most of it's like her apologizing for all the crap she's gotten LeBlanc into. You know, um, because it made it look like she was trying to kill him at first, but it wasn't the case. Um, but basically, uh, that they end up like tracking down where Emma is, and they're they're trying to like solve everything and fix everything. Um, <clears throat> and they've decided that like all they have to do is either give her the the antidote, and she can like rewipe and forget all this and stuff. So they're trying to track her down. Um, to fix what Ada had done in the beginning, and they don't know if she's with like the samurai ninja or whatever. Um, they do end up tracking her down, and they find her at the, uh, you know, at LeBlanc's house of all places. And uh, when they get there, it's this massive showdown between Ada and Emma, and they both want to kill each other for what Ada did to Emma. And and um, you know, basically in the end, LeBlanc puts up a offer to. Um, you know, to for them to take the antidotes themselves, like the 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 forget forgetful potion, let's say, and um, basically wiping all their memories, and they wouldn't be the the bad people that Emma thinks them to be, um, because Emma basically wants to kill both of them. They're all at gunpoint. So, but um, you know, LeBlanc does talk Emma down, and um, 
they eventually both take the uh, forget, forgetful potion or whatever. LeBlanc, LeBlanc kind of knocks out. Uh, we do see the samurai ninja like pop out of hiding because uh, it wasn't revealed where he was, but he does pop out of hiding after they they're kind of like knocked out in comatose state while this thing, you know, takes its effect and um, it makes them forget everything. Um, the samurai ninja just j jump forward and tries to kill both of them. Emma kind of jumps in front of the ninja, saying like, "No, they don't even remember anything. You're gonna kill them now. Like, what was the whole point?" And we do find out the whole point between like the samurai ninjas why they're connected has something to do with Ada and Ada killing one of their brothers or something like that. And it's very like a small part of the plot. But basically eventually like Emma and the the samurai ninja end up squaring off for like a second uh, until like um, Ada wakes up and knocks the hell out of the samurai ninja. And then uh, kind of confronting Emma because Emma's all scared and surprised. Like, why are you just woken up? You just took that serum type thing. Because um, it's kind of explained that when they take that, they're supposed to be knocked out for a couple hours while the thing takes effect. Um, she explained that she's actually taken that thing, a lot, like that, that forgetf forgetful serum a lot. And she it doesn't work on her anymore. She's taken it so many times to try and forget who she was. You know, knowing that she's kind of a douchebag, like it just it doesn't work anymore. And so, luckily, it ends up like saving both their lives. Um, the book kind of like uh, jumps over, and it's a, it's a bunch of like LeBlanc, and he's seeing this like like uh, kind of mythical like spiritual retreat type of thing, and he's being told like everything that that he should know on an honest level type of thing, and it's it's like in the form of this dragon, and he's telling him like. You know, like what he tried to do in the past, how he failed, and like what he needs to do now, kind of thing. And then, like supposedly, like the the potion takes effect and it wipes his memory or whatever. Um, after that, the book just it jumps forward like a year later, and it says that Ada, like you know, totally changed her ways. Like um, she actually like her and that girl Emma had connected, and like eventually like Ada actually turns herself in and and actually goes in, into prison to like, you know, atone for all the sins she had committed as an assassin. Um, it does show that Emma, like, goes back and, like, fixes a lot of the pieces of her life and move forward. And then it shows, like, very, at the very end with LeBlanc, and it does show that, like, when they go back into a lot of, like, LeBlanc's backstage, and, like, like supposedly in the very beginning, he had took that for forgive, forgetful potion, and he had forgot some major things in his life. But supposedly at one time he was a CIA handler and he was tasked to go track down Ada and this little boy. And we've seen that in the previous issues. Um, but he was supposed to kill Ada and I think and the, and the little boy. And eventually he hid the little boy. So that's why he wiped his memory so the CIA wouldn't find him. And he's had this little boy in hiding but living like a miserable life because he's been hiding from the CIA or something. There's some reason this kid that, you know, the CIA wants to kill, kill this kid. Um, but now after everything's done and said, like LeBlanc has finally like remembered about that kid and he comes back and he does give that kid a second chance. Um, the very end of the book does start off that LeBlanc has started a new, another new second chances business and now Emma is working with him as his assistant and secretary. And that's kind of where the book, you know, leaves off maybe giving us with a, hey, this could be like a volume two type of thing. Which I really like. Uh, the art was beyond amazing. The story was very good. I'll show you some of the art and I'll let you go on your ways. Like I said, this is a black and white comic. Uh, let's get it to focus in. And here my cat. She's all mad that I'm doing this review. She wants all my time. Um... Most of this was a conversation, most of the story. It did not, you know, it doesn't take away from the story. I, I mean, there was enough action. <clears throat> but uh, really all, one, two, three, four are very quick reads. Uh, they're very detailed art. The story is a little confusing until you get to like the second or third issue. But overall, it was really good. Um, the ending, when you finally find out everything and they finally get to this like, kind of this part because that's that mythical, magical like trip. Um like this part right here when they get to this and he has that whole like it kind of explains everything and it makes everything come around full circle and it's pretty cool hey that's my review i will let y'all go y'all have a great day bah!